reason why most people hate poetry, even when they're adults, is because they were taught it badly at school. That's all going to change, because I'm going to teach you a new method, the scientific method. How do we analyse a poem we've never seen before? Right, you guys tell me, what's the first thing that springs into your mind when I say the word poetry? Boring. Naff. Useless. A lot of talking. As far as I'm concerned, there's kind of two polar opposites of analysing poetry. The first method is for me to stand up here with the poem in front of us and I'm going to spend an hour going, oh, what does this mean? Oh, what does that mean? The other polar opposite is what I call the Wordsworth method. You might have heard and gotten the name Wordsworth. He wrote this poem all about daffodils. He wandered lonely as a cloud. We could go out right now onto that field, onto the school field, and we could find a nice little tree, we could take out a book of poetry, and we could sit there for an hour or so and go, oh, what does this mean? And ponder life, the universe, and everything else. The scientific method to analyse the poetry what you need to do to get those eight grades. Take the separate elements. On their own, they're okay, a bit boring. You might pass if you put one or two things in, but you mix them together and you blow the examiner's mind. Subject, what's the poem about? Plus, technique. You need to talk about all those things, first person, rhyme, assonance, alliteration, all that stuff. You need to comment on their effectiveness. What's this poet trying to do? You add all those three elements together and you combine those to make success. In your test tubes, you've got three questions. Red is subject, orange is technique, green is effectiveness. You've got a couple of minutes at each stanza station and then you're gonna move on to the next one. Go. Right, over to you. What do you guys think of the scientific method of analysing poetry? I like the idea of the subject, technique and effectiveness. It helps you to think about expanding and reading between the lines and thinking of layers of meaning. I feel that breaking down the poem helps you work it out more so you can get to the deeper meaning of what it actually is. So there you have it. Subject plus technique plus effectiveness. The scientific way of analysing a poem.